Echoes of Mayhem is a traditional top-down action RPG that, I'm sorry to say, is as bland as its name. You play as a guy who feels compelled to save the world. To this end, you talk to many villagers who offer lifeless expository dialogue, delve into lifeless dungeons with samey scenery, and engage in an incredibly rudimentary combat system with no unique characteristics. Now, keep in mind, generic doesn't have to mean bad. Realms of Ancient War is just as generic, but it's also quite good. Unfortunately for Echoes of Mayhem, it's got a fair number of actual issues to pile atop its uninspired core. Firstly, there's the dumb AI. Like, really, really dumb. I'm tempted to just let the footage here speak for itself, but to be clear, the enemies often shoot one another aimlessly, have trouble pathfinding around basic geometry, and walk mindlessly right into your attacks. With foes this foolish, every encounter is a cakewalk. The game is so easy, in fact, that the addition of an infinitely regenerating health potion just feels insulting. I have no idea why such a mechanic was included, when you can also find regular finite healing items in dungeons. The weapon balancing is also broken. Spells are nearly impossible to aim, both for you and enemies, yet they deal almost no damage. This just makes them altogether worse than melee. And if you figure the lackluster balancing might be alleviated by some cool or unique item drops, I've got some bad news. The loot drops from what I've played are incredibly repetitive. I swear I never want to see another uncommon militia claymore. But it doesn't stop there either. This game's a mess on a technical level too. Getting myself out of bounds was quite a simple affair, the UI often broke in strange ways, and there were at least three occasions where my attack stopped working altogether until I unequipped and re-equipped my weapon. It's all rather miserable. If you're looking to play a game with dull combat, bland environments, poor writing, and no challenge, then Echoes of Mayhem probably fits the bill, but I can't imagine why I'd recommend it to anyone. It's still in development, to be fair, so it's possible many of these issues will be resolved, but the game's foundation feels shaky, and I'm not sure whether updates can fix that. I'll revisit it when it's released as a full product, but I cannot recommend spending $15 on it right now.